Good afternoon from Alpha Cars. My name is Tom, coming to you from our Northampton location, and today we're going to be taking a look at this 2018 Audi Q7. This Q7 is currently showing just under 80,000 original miles, and if you would like to see a high-resolution, detailed photo set, please reference the listing at alphacars.com. There, of course, you will also find a free included Carfax report, alongside a long list of technical data related to the vehicle's remaining tire and brake life, as well as individual readings from each panel using our paint depth gauge. But today I'll take you on a quick condition overview around both the interior and the exterior, as well as going over some of the more interesting features. So starting here on the exterior, we can see the paint is in very nice condition. I love the contrast with that nice dark paint scheme and the bright silver accents all around the vehicle. You can see the paint is a nice glossy finish here looking into the light. And as usual, go really close to the body to look for any irregularities. You can see a small ding just there on the crease. But carrying back the driver's side, it all presents very well beyond that, all the way to the rear. Wheels add to that nice silver contrast there, and they're in excellent shape here at the rear driver's side corner. And the front is just the same, and you can see some nice big brakes hiding behind the wheel, just, just behind, pardon me. Front fascia, we do have a couple of small markings there on the bumper cover. Headlights are crystal clear. Really cool design as well with those running lights, that nice LED technology. A bit more silver accenting here in the front with that classic Audi grille. <clears throat> and all of those horizontal slats all add to that really luxurious front end that you would expect. This corner, everything looks beautiful. And that brings us here to the passenger side. Right at 12 o'clock, a little bit of curb rash on that wheel, but otherwise very nice. Making our way down this side of the body. Not seeing any dings. Small scratch just there. And it all otherwise looks nice here. A small ding in the back just there. And finally, pardon me, one more wheel in nice condition as well. And finally here at the back, besides a small scuff there just below that tail light, it all looks very nice. Tail lights are crystal clear. You can see those, that nice silver trim panel flanked by the dual exhaust. That all looks great as well. Now making our way to the interior, you'll find it beautifully, contra or, uh, beautifully accented with this nice rich brown leather. You can see for the mileage, the wear on the seats is about what you would expect for a well cared for example. They look nice. Same goes for the passenger seat just there. Small imperfection in the seat center, but not too bad. And let's hop inside. You'll see no strange warning lights appear in the virtual cockpit. Using the steering wheel controls that are in great condition, I can navigate the virtual cockpit through various different menus. And my favorite, of course, is the full color navigation display that can take up the entire gauge cluster. That's a really nice feature. Dashboard's in great condition. You can see the screen, which can be uh, recessed down into the dashboard, which happens smoothly and can rise right back up on command. If you see any flickering, it's only due to the camera's effect. It looks perfect in person. Throwing it in reverse reveals that top-down 360 camera on the right, as well as a full reversing camera. And putting it in drive reveals a forward camera as you're approaching any you know, obstacles that you, know, you don't want to impact the front end. Of course, you can also access your full color navigation display just there and various other features. You have this nice faux vent in the center to continue the climate control vent trim kind of look all the way across. I like how these have a preset area that they just like that snap into place to be perfectly aligned because if you're like me you like to keep things tidy and aligned well and I think that's a really nice touch that I haven't noticed in the past. A little bit lower here we have various controls. You have a drive mode selector on this beautiful piano black trim with the quattro badge just there. You have your heated seat controls as well as various climate functions. Here in the center console it all looks very nice. Some more piano black with cup holders as well as a key slot. You have your media controls as well as your infotainment controls. And of course Audi's modern take on the gear selector which I think is one of the most intuitive and high quality feeling examples on the market today. You also have a split armrest which is fully adjustable forward, backwards, up and down which is great to see. So I can slide one side forward if I need it. I can lock it up into various different positions and then put it back down with a bit of storage underneath. It's a nice thing to have. Just above my head, a full panoramic roof. And one last feature I forgot to mention, of course, heated steering wheel. Always love to have a heated steering wheel. 
But next up, let's take a look under the hood at what powers the Q7. I'll meet you there. All right, so here under the hood of the Q7, we're gonna take a look at the condition first off. You can see the painted portions all look very nice here. Plastic paneling all presenting very well, just the same. You can see the big engine cover taking up a lot of space here with the nice silver Audi badging just there. And though you can't see too much underneath, what you can see is very clean on the engine itself. You can see those nice bright red uh, coil packs just there on the outside of the cylinder head. Now, this is the three liter V6. This vehicle can be optioned with a two liter four cylinder, but my personal preference is this engine that we have here. Producing, you know, mid 300 horsepower range, but still giving you around 25 or so MPG on the highway, thanks to that smooth ZF eight speed automatic gearbox, which is seriously the best automatic on the market. It's used everywhere from the A4 to the BMW M4. Uh, it's an excellent, excellent gearbox. But next up, let's take a quick look at the second and third row of seating. Second row, beautifully trimmed in that same nice rich brown leather and the condition is excellent. Popping inside, being a six foot four person, you can see I have plenty of leg room and a comfortable driving position just ahead and a beautiful view of the front cabin. I have a couple of power outlets there as well as heated seat and climate controls available in the center. Now I can also look behind these front or the second row seating. And as you can see, I have the third row down I thought I had it up and I thought that would be a wonderful reveal of the third row, but we carry on and we'll take a look here at the rear of the vehicle where I will deploy those third row seats. So moving along, you see we have the original carpets as well as the original all weather mats. I'm going to ever so gracefully remove the mats from the vehicle like so. And you can see very spacious trunk area, but using this switch pack just here, I can deploy those third row seats. Flip these headrests right up and now do my dramatic reveal behind the second row of seating. You can see nice condition there on the third row. This entire center row can slide forward and backwards to give you plenty of space to access the third row. And it's a bit tricky to do this with one hand so I'll put that up in just a minute. But as you can see, these switches work beautifully. Pardon me. Oh, you know what? I was gonna drop those headrests, but I believe, yeah, there we go. I believe they would do it on their own, and they do, because Audi thought of people like me who forget. And lastly, one touch operation is gonna drop down that hatch, and it's gonna lock right into place, no problems. So if you have any further questions related to this 2018 Audi Q7, please reference the listing at alphacars.com and there you will find all of the relevant contact information. Thank you so much for your time and have a wonderful rest of your day. We hope to hear from you soon. Thank you from Alpha Cars.